Slimmers, in this video I'm going over the Realistic Life in Pregnancy mod. Um, it's by Percy, I hope I'm not murdering her name. Um, if not Percy, it's Percy. Um, now I wanted to show you guys how wonderful this mod is. It's so amazing, I really enjoy the realistic um, nature that comes with it. It brings more realism to our game so that way we can enjoy playing The Sims as if it was like our actual life or something. So really cool. Make sure you guys read through the description, read through the pictures. Um, you can basically have more interactions with your family. Um, you can encounter losses and, you know, kind of see how they feel about those losses and things like that. You can see what type of feelings that they have, like if they want a baby or they want to work towards getting a baby, things like that. Um, so it's pretty cool. I really love it. Um, so yeah, you guys just feel free to read through the description so you are aware of everything that is in the game and you can enjoy it yourself. So what you're going to do when you're getting ready to install is you're going to scroll all the way to the bottom. Once you're here, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to download the Realistic Life and Pregnancy mod for the family. So we're going to select download and it downloads a page. We're going to go back and we're going to do the same with the second one. And we're going to download that for computer interactions. If there's any specific thing that you do not want um, in the package for the realistic mod, then just don't include it. Like do not download it. And if you did accidentally download it, just delete it out and you'll be good. So I'm going to open complicated relationships in a new tab, download that. I'm going to do the same for the second, which is the TS4 script. Do not forget to download the TS4 scripts that go with each part of this mod. Pregnancy, TS4 scripts. I'm going to open up two so you guys can see. And you're going to see a whole bunch of pages at the bottom, but don't freak out. Everything's going to be fine. You also want to keep track of where you are with um downloading so you do not get confused that would be like one of the worst things you could probably do is get lost and then double download and then still be lost if that makes sense so just make sure that you guys are paying attention and if you don't know where to look just in case like you made a mistake you can always do show and folder and then hover over the recent download you just did and it'll tell you what it says. So it says realistic life, pregnancy, mod, pregnancy. So you know you left off on pregnancy and then you just come back and then you do the same thing with the personals. So we're gonna go into personals. I personally want everything within this mod so I'm not leaving anything out. After personals, you can go ahead and right click open link a new tab for the nights and we're going to go ahead and download this. And if you guys think this is a lot of files, try downloading custom content. And what I mean by that, because this technically counts as custom content, is CC like lashes and, you know, eye colors and things like that, hair. This is pretty much the same thing you would do with custom content that you want to include in your game. So it will be a bunch of pages. So. Once you download this, which is the mornings, I did night and mornings. We're going to do kid interactions, which is fun. And then we'll do the bottom one, which is family. I'm pretty sure that's the same as this, the first one we did, but it's the TS4 script, which you need the TS4 script and the package for each of these files. So please do not leave anything out. So we're going to download this one, download this one, download this one. And now that we're done with that, we're going to exit 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 you can keep this up just in case you forget anything or you need to come back so just leave that tab open and then you're going to go to the bottom now if you have mac you're going to click on finder if you have windows you are going to click the file explorer icon once you do that you might already have your documents folder listed but if you don't look under this pc um, typically when you do that it will provide the desktop the documents folder all that but if you still don't see it you should try to find users. And what I mean by that is sometimes our name is within local disk or users is. So you can click local disk and select users. And then you can select your you know, name or email from there. And then you'll be able to get to your um, documents tab. Okay. So just make sure that you keep all that in mind. And if you are still having trouble, you can always just keep 
you know, clicking around to see which one's which and where to find certain things, okay? So once you locate the documents folder, you're going to double click it and open it. Then you're going to go into your electronic arts and then your Sims 4. Once you're in your Sims 4 folder, scroll to the bottom and see if you can find a local thumb cache. If you can't find it, do not freak out. There could be a huge possibility that you had already deleted it prior or that you have the game open. If you have the game open, go ahead and go to Sims now, exit the game, and then come back to this. Once you're in the Sims 4 folder, locate your mods folder. The mods folder will be inside. Once you do that, we are going to right click and we're going to create a new folder. So what we're going to do is we're going to call this folder exactly what this mod is called. So we are going to call it the realistic life and pregnancy mod. Okay, once you have that finished, you are going to open up the folder and then you are going to go back to the bottom of your screen, click on Finder or File Explorer, depending on the computer, then locate your Downloads tab, okay? Where you see your downloads, you should see pretty much all the pages that you chose to download for this mod. Now, if you do see these pages, you are already on the right step. So you want to go ahead and drag the folder in a comfortable position along with this one as well. And then you want to go ahead and just copy every single item you just downloaded to make your life easier. And what you want to do is you want to just cut it and then paste it. It's that simple. Once you do that, you will no longer see it in your download section and you will see that it is in this folder called the Realistic Life and Pregnancy Mod. And that way you are good to go. So now that you have it installed, you can go ahead and go into the game to make sure that you set your game option settings up. So let's do that now. Okay, guys, so for the new Realistic Life and Pregnancy mod, you will need to join the Patreon, but the good news is it does not cost a lot. And when you do that, you will be able to continue reading. And then once you join, you will be able to get the updated mod for this Realistic Pregnancy mod. Okay, so just put in your information after you do that, subscribe, and you'll download the same way I showed you. The only difference is that you will be a member, which means that you will then be able to have access to all of her mods as soon as she's finished updating them. So just keep that in mind. But before you can play this game, make sure that you join and you download the mod. After you do that, you want to go into your Sims 4 game and you're going to select options, go to game options, and then go to other. Once you do that, make sure you enable your custom content and mods and your script mods allowed. Once you have enabled them, they will have green checks by them. And do not forget to select the apply changes button. If you don't select that, it's not going to keep it the same. Okay. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and that it was helpful for you. If it was, let me know in the comment section below. Let me know how you're enjoying this mod. Tell me all of the wonderful things that you've been able to do. Sub to the channel for more videos like this one. And thanks for watching. You guys have a wonderful rest of the day.